Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on expression and equations. And then the questioner asked, why are they different? This actually is a really excellent question. Throughout your math career, if you come across this question, you are way ahead of the uh, rest of the pairs. It turned out the difference between expression and equations actually is in this seemingly harmless thing we call equal sign. Lower it a little bit. Let's start with something that we all know. Okay, 7x equal to 5. Those are called equations. They do have a variable and this equal sign saying mystery. Solve the mystery. If 7 times what mystery number is equal to 5? Or later on you have a quadratic equation what special x when you plug it in there you have x squared this thing squared minus itself minus 2 then you have a 0 so all those set of things have something in common they all have a variable and they all have an equal sign this equal sign is basically solve for mystery so they're looking for mystery numbers. Uh, let's go on a little bit. Uh, later on, you'll have a, maybe a trig equation or system of two equations with two variables. But basically, it's still the same idea. And there's two mystery numbers, not find it. And you might have a three variable, three equations, okay. and maybe four variable, four equation. But the basic idea is still the still stays the same variable and solve for the mystery number or maybe log equations down the road 7x equal to 8 or exponential equations e to the x is equal to let's say 9 okay here we still have variables although in different form and different shapes but we still have a variable and solve for e mystery number that's what the equal sign is or maybe you have a rational equation that's a lot of my students are working on right now um, all those are same things mystery number with the equal sign okay now different from that the equations different from that is what we call expressions Expressions, unlike its cousin, the equation, does not have anything to solve. This one is basically saying equivalent. So when we have radical 18, let's say plus radical 2, this equal sign is quite different from this equal sign. This equal sign says simplify it. Okay, so if we were to simplify this one, we have radical 2 times 9 plus radical 2. Since we can simplify radical 2 times 9 into 3, because 3 squared is 9, plus radical 2, this one becomes 4 radical 2. Now, all those equal signs are for expressions. We're literally doing nothing to solve other than simplify what's equivalent to it. Or another thing, maybe x squared plus 7x plus 5x squared. Okay, there's nothing to solve because there's no equal sign and not equal to a number. We're just going to gather the like terms, which is 6x squared plus 7x. Okay, this equal sign, again, is equivalent, which is quite different from this equal sign. This equal sign says 2 to the mystery number, e to the mystery number is equal to 9. Now find me the, e the mystery number. That's what the equations are. Okay, on this side, when we're dealing with expression, we're basically finding equivalent. I hope I spelled it right. Now, there is a third classification of the equal sign, which a lot of the uh, teacher probably don't bother to specifically point it out. So hopefully by watching this video, you're very aware of it, or you become aware of it. This new class of equal sign, technically, in other textbooks, in Asian textbooks, it's, there's a little triangle on top. This is by definition. Okay, definition does have equal sign, but it's actually someone made it up. For example, x to the half. By definition, someone made it up. It's radical root of x. Or another thing is, let's say you're taking a trig class. Sine x, by definition, someone says, someone defined it, it's equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. 
Okay. Um, let's see, what else can I think of that's by definition? Um, my mind is drawing blank. Let's see. X, well, that's already said. This one is the same thing. X to the, I, I can't think of anything right now. But this class is, especially in a lot of geometries, you have a lot of definition. This class of equal sign, literally someone made it up. This class of equal sign for the equations are, Q-U-A-T-I-O-M, for equations are solving, and this one is for equivalent. All right, I hope, I hope that this rambling is clear for you. Let's have a tiny little math break. I got this one in the mail today. Look at the denomination of it. Kind of cool, huh? All right, back to math. Once again, there's equal sign. That's definition. There's equal sign to say solve. This is definition. This one says solve, which is equation, and this one says equivalent. All right, I hope this is clean and clear for you. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. Let's try to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.